Hi everyone, I'm here in Copenhagen, Denmark's capital. Right now we have to hurry because I'm visiting the Christensen family. They're planning a trip to the beach and I'm coming along. Hey, morning. There you are. We have been placing bed if you will be able to fit all the things in the trunk. Who bet that I could? That was me. Ah. But I didn't know about <laughs> this thing at the time. Morning. Oh, okay. Well, then let's have a look. This is actually why we're here. Let's get on board. Let's Let me go. grab something. Come along. The tablet is out of power. Does this one have uh, USB ports? Yeah, which one? It's got eight, um, eight USB ports inside. There's one right in the door next oh, right to you. Here? This is uh, you know, obviously a fully connected vehicle. You know, it's always connected. Um, lots of assistance features, you know, like um, distance control, automatic braking. Um, it has already um, you know, the uh, lane assist feature that keeps you in the lane. So the car has also got a, a car to X um, function. And there's a new feature um, in the automated parking where you uh, where it actually remembers to park the car always in the same spot. This car seems to be extremely digital with many assistance systems. However, charging is quite the topic with EVs. Does the ID bus provide any help in this respect too? The ID bus has got um, intelligent charging. No? So you have a route planner that gives you the um, location of the nearest charging point. Um, but it also tells you whether the charging point is available. No? It's mm. uh, ready for you to come and, and charge, which is great. No? So it's always very convenient and that's what it's all about. You know? To have a convenient, quick charging experience. You, know? you can charge the car between 5 and 80% within 30 minutes. <laughs> Everyone could get something to drink from the cooler. Okay. So, uh, what do you got? Yeah, got something for you here. Okay. Does the ID bus make ice cubes as well? Oh, uh, uh, no, I don't think so yet. But you could, of course, hook up a ice cube maker to the 230 volt outlet in okay. the bus. No. Nice. Cheers. Cheers. So Copenhagen um, is becoming a climate-neutral uh, metropolis. How does that materialize or manifest in your day-to-day uh, -day life? Well, that's a great goal because uh, we already have a lot of electric cars, electric bicycles, stuff like that. Um, it's just great to live in you know, this city and maybe be the first to, to have a total climate-neutral um, metropolis yes. yeah, in the whole right. world. So. It is really cool. No? Yeah. I mean, the, the ID bus is delivered um, on deliveries. It's, it's uh, carbon neutral no? uh, in a net. And um, we're also using a lot of uh, recycled uh, plastic material in the interior. No? And I think that really fits well to, um, to Copenhagen specifically you know, in this environment. Yeah, right? definitely, definitely. Yeah. It, uh, it will be the next car for our family. That's, that's for sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. That's for sure. <laughs> 